are continuing to track the showers outside this morning. Take a look at your Storm Tracker 13 sky scan, and you'll see the snow across the higher elevations that we were tracking into the night last night. The showers, though, pushing off to the east as our storm system is exiting the state. We still have a few showers to contend with this morning. So if you're waking up, heading out the door in La Junta, Lamar, Springfield, grab the umbrella. You'll need it this morning. You won't, however, need it this afternoon. If you are traveling around Teller County, the mountains to the south and west of Pueblo, so the wets and sand grays, you are going to want to give yourself a couple extra minutes to get where you're going this morning. We do have some slushy spots. It was over the higher terrain where we saw the snow actually sticking to the road last night, so that could slow you down this morning as well. If you are traveling around the Pikes Peak region, you're going to want to give yourself a couple extra minutes as well. Not because of the road conditions, but instead we are tracking fog outside this morning, and it is dense in spots, so that's going to slow you down as well. So we're on Colorado. Springs leave a little early. As we head into the mid morning hours, we are expecting the skies to continually clear. This is a look at lunchtime. We'll keep a few clouds out across the Colorado Kansas border, but even those clouds will get out of here as we head into the afternoon. Here's a look at six o'clock. We should have mostly clear skies over the mountains. That's where we'll keep the potential for a sprinkle or two here as we head into the afternoon. A few clouds as well across some of our southern Rockies. Highs today will be getting into the low to mid 50s, so we are expecting the temperatures to warm up as we head into the afternoon. Thanks to the sunshine. Keep in mind, though, areas that saw snow overnight last night, early this morning, they will be slow to warm and will end up cooler than some of the areas that did not see much in the way of accumulation. Tomorrow, we are warming that temperature up 69 degrees on Friday. We're keeping 60s around through the weekend, Saturday afternoon, and again, Sunday afternoon, we will have the potential for a few sprinkles. Sunday afternoon, we could even get a few rumbles of thunder around the Pikes Peak region, so we'll continue tracking that closely. Check out your temperatures next week, though, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We are back in the 70s. Pueblo, today your high temperature 57 degrees, tomorrow 75. We'll drop it into the mid 60s on Saturday, bring a 10% chance for a sprinkle or two Saturday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, could get a rumble of thunder around Pueblo. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, those 70s and even 80 degree temperatures are expected, so we are expecting much warmer air here as we head into the work week next week. Canyon City 58 today, tomorrow 73. 60s on Saturday with 70s returning to the region, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday in the 80s. For Teller County, again, this is one of the areas where it may take you longer to get around this morning due to the slushy road conditions. We'll hit 46 this afternoon, 58 on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We are in the 50s. It will be over the mountains where we'll have a better chance of seeing a few snowflakes mixed in with the showers that we'll be tracking during the afternoons of both Saturday and Sunday. So Sunday, if you have Easter plans, the morning we should see a window where it stays dry. So keep that in mind as you're planning your outdoor Easter egg hunts.